How's it going everybody? It's Prod here and welcome back to another For Honor video. This one isn't going to be super long. I wanted to make this video just to let you guys know in case you guys didn't see and just so pretty much you can get prepared and stuff like that. But Ubisoft just announced that For Honor is going to be officially having an open beta, which is actually something that I did not expect. Typically when they have, you know, closed betas is because that's pretty much all we're going to get from the game before it is released. And it was pretty surprising that we didn't see like a whole pre-order and get into the beta and stuff like that because that's what a lot of companies do which is actually pretty admirable but i do think it was for a reason and i'll explain it here in a second but first i'm going to give you guys some info on the beta and it looks like it will be starting for all consoles xbox one ps4 and pc on february 9th going through february 12th so only for a couple of days but i'm guessing they want to kind of test their servers out for a large group of people because i believe the closed beta wasn't too big like I was actually pretty fucking lucky to get a code and a lot of people actually thought that I got a code because I make videos and they send me a code. Yeah, that's not what happened. I was lucky enough to actually get emailed a code. I wouldn't be the guy for that. I don't think an indie company that was making a game of shit that can walk and talk but only had one leg and one eye would even send me a code for a trial of their game. So maybe one day in the future that would be cool but uh, sadly that wasn't the case. But it is going to be open to everybody. Everybody's going to be able to get to try it out and I'm guessing you guys have been seeing a lot of footage from different YouTubers, especially if you watch a lot of Dark Souls YouTubers, they have been talking about this game and playing this game and uploading videos on this game. It's a lot of fun, and it does also look like we're gonna basically be getting the same thing, except for maybe a new game type, which is gonna be called Elimination Mode. It looks like it's going to be a 4 on 4 game type, kind of like your regular old 2v2s or your 1v1s. It's gonna be a best of 5, no respawns as well, so I'm guessing it is also not gonna be, you know, revive base kind of like dominion which is pretty fantastic i actually really like this i cannot wait to actually try this out with a squad of people most likely people from my live streams and stuff like that i could invite people into this 4v4 game type and kind of fuck shit up online i do think it's gonna be a lot of fun but it does look like this game type will be pretty freaking hectic but not as hectic as something like dominion dominion is pretty crazy especially the frame rate the frame rate can get real bad sometimes but like I was saying before, I'm guessing that the reason the closed beta wasn't as big was because, you know, Ubisoft has kind of been pretty notorious for having really shaky startups to their multiplayer game and the online features of their games. So I'm guessing they wanted to test the servers on uh, maybe a few thousand people. I feel like it was probably around there and just kind of see how it goes and uh, kind of make adjustments from there. And I feel like they're pretty confident now to kind of open it up to a wider audience because there are going to be, I'm guessing at least like five times ten times more people downloading this beta now that it's going to be open because it definitely seems like one of those games that a lot of people see and are like damn that looks that looks fucking awesome it's definitely one that you can tell is not going to be for the broad audience but yeah man i'm pretty excited to finally get back into this game ever since the uh the beta left us a couple days ago i've been missing it and I cannot wait to try it out again, especially with uh, a bunch of you guys who never got a chance to play it for the first time. Now, I'm guessing some people are going to be curious to where I'm going to be playing it because the first time around when I got my code, I was only able to play it on Xbox One. So this time around, I am going to be playing it on PS4 and this is going to help me actually decide which console do I want to get it on because I do have both Xbox One and PS4 and I have kind of been going back and forth on where I want to get it on because I love the Xbox One controller. Uh, it's probably one of my favorite controllers. I definitely prefer it over the PS4 controller. I got more room on my Xbox One hard drive and stuff. But then again, there's also probably going to be less people on the Xbox One than the PS4. But to be honest, I guess this will kind of help me decide. And who knows, man, if the videos do well and people enjoy the videos and this kind of picks up and becomes maybe like a second Dark Souls of my channel because I am going to keep those videos up by the way I'm going to keep the Dark Souls videos even the the For Honor videos even if they don't do well because I do think this will be a, a fun game to kind of have variety on my channel I may end up getting it on both honestly if, uh, if things go really well but anyways guys that is going to be it definitely let me know if you are excited to try out For Honor if you never got to try it out for the first time or the second time or the third time. I think this game had like three betas. Definitely leave a like if you are pumped for it. That's about it. Talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody. One quick tap to the head. Didn't work. Oh, he's gonna come in for a running attack. No, he's not. Ooh.
Fuck. Oh god, try to parry it. No fucking health. Fuck you. Come on. One tap to the head. Yeah. All right. That was a good one right there. That was a fucking good one. 